All right, we're back, and uh, this is we, we, we just have some abdu abduction missions that we need to go uh, take care of. Uh, I actually I just blew my nose, and I think part of my what did I just do? I think part of my brain just came out. Uh, I think I gave myself a lobotomy, so I may not be able to think anymore. Um, we actually could ship a satellite right over Canada right now, and then it would be okay that we didn't go there, because I'm kind of nervous about this very difficult mission. I also kind of want more scientists. I don't really want a sniper. Um, but I also want to use the satellites to put them over South America in a minute. So we're going to try this very difficult mission in Toronto. Um, my wife's been a year there, so she'll probably know the city pretty well, so I'm sending her along. Um, is this our team? Is this our crack team of people? Who do I not want to bring? Because there's somebody I don't want to bring because we have someone new. Like, Scott, do I not bring you? Do I bring... I don't know, maybe we don't bring Becky because she's lowest ranked here and this is a very difficult mission. We don't want... Yeah. Let's bring... Your Xavier. So your Xavier, you're basically our squad captain at this point. Um, we got two assaults, a heavy and a sniper, no support. Uh, Hannibal is rocking that hat, I guess. Um, let's do this. I fully expect a large number of thin men, which scares the hell out of me. Um, we've got one med kit. Strike one. Okay. Uh, that our heavy poop the dicks is holding. This operation will be in Canada. Current updates from the ground indicate the aliens are moving within the city limits. We should get down there and secure the area as quickly. Okay, so we've got meld to worry about too. I would really like to get the meld, but the priority here has to be our soldiers' lives. Um, okay, so this is Toronto. This does not look like Toronto to me. I guess the outskirts of Toronto, there's lots of rural stuff. Um, this is more like Mississauga. Anyway, um, so Hannibal, where do we want to park you? We might eventually want to move you to the roof. Um, so Scott, I'm thinking about moving you up here to get line of sight forward and then eventually move you around if necessary. One moment. Sorry about that. I would have turned off the mic, but I knew it was going to be just a minute. I figured no reason to edit it out. Uh, the lights that were flickering were on. I had to turn them out because I was going to go insane. All right, so the mood lighting is better now. Um, Scott didn't see any aliens. We don't see any meld either. Um, what happens, Rich, if we move you over here okay. to look in that window? Positive enemy contact. Okay. We'll see some uh, squid-like aliens from the movie Matrix, uh, some robot squids, and what else? Three thin men? Oh my god, so we got sight on like five million aliens. I almost want to just run away right now. Oh god. 39, 54. Okay, people. I didn't want to see aliens that quickly, and everybody's like in the wrong place. We need to like blow some major grenades right now. Um, you can run and gun. How close can you get? You can probably knock out that alien. Oh, Jesus. Okay, you have the health pack, and you can't fire a rocket this turn. So I can run and gun you, too. And there are these squids over there, too, that we need to worry about. Like, I'm most anxious about the thin men, but the squids are also going to be in trouble. Um, how likely are the squids to be able to get me inside a building? I don't know. Okay, let's let's look at what everybody's grenade options are. This is going to take me a while to figure out how to handle this, because this could be horrible. <clears throat> okay, from where you stand, you've got no good grenades. Doesn't look like. So running and gunning with you is probably the option. <clears throat> and we've got stealth squids, which are scary to me. Um, Hannah, you're not going to have a good shot, but you might be able to pull off a grenade. I... Oh, shit. I could have moved you under the roof. Then you would have had a great grenade. You wouldn't have seen these fuckers. Alright. Um, this is scary. This could be bad for everybody. At least we're right near the... If we need to abort, we can keep a lot of our soldiers alive. Hopefully. Um, Alright, so... What if I move you here? I probably won't have good grenades because there's this fucking building in the way. Um... 
So, like, I could run and gun with you, but then this fucking alien will come, like, running and go inside the building and just shoot me, probably? Maybe? I don't know. I think I can end this alien with a run and gun. Or this one. I think that's basically the situation I'm in. Um, you have three shots. It would be really nice if you could just kill this one, but you only have a coin flip. Um, you know what? I think you have to try. Let's find out if that alien's gonna die right now, before I make any other decisions. Please kill this. Come on, poop dicks. You dealt three to him. Okay. That's reasonably unsatisfying. I guess that means that Hannibal can hit him with a pistol shot, but... There's, like, no real good way to do that. Okay. <clears throat> so let's think this through. What if we move you back here? Do you have a good shot? Like, I'd rather just put you in full cover. Um, we don't want to stand right next to a door that a thin man's going to come out of, though, either, because then if we pop them right at the door, they poison us. Just horrible. Okay. Um... What about, can you run up here? No, of course you can't. That's too far. I can't move you. God, that's horrible. Okay. So Scott's probably going to be on Overwatch to take out one of the stealth squids. That's my guess. Um, I don't even know if the stealth squids can get all the way to us this turn. I hope they can't. All right, so that one's at one. So hopefully we can kill it later, and I can run around this edge with your Xavier, and you can hopefully kill a Thin Man with a Shotgun Blast, and I think that's going to be my next play, um, because I don't think I have any good grenades this turn. Alright. So you're flanking that Thin Man. 96%, that's pretty good. And a 70% critical? Please kill this guy. Thank you. Good job, your Xavier. Power of Denmark. Alright. Um... Anna, you can't just be sitting out here because a stealth squid could just park up and shoot the shit out of you. Um, so let's put you somewhere safe, I think. What about on the roof? That's probably not very safe at all. <laughs> okay. Um, like, I could put you here, but then if a stealth squid comes over here, it'll probably kill that guy. All right. I'm going to move you here. Let's check what your grenades are, just in case. Horrible. Um, can you, like, toss one over the building? No. Poop dicks, why couldn't you have dealt one more damage? Alright, put you on Overwatch. Come get some. You can't die, you're wearing a baseball cap. And then put you on Overwatch, Scott, so if stealth squids appear, you'll fuck them up. Wow. Full cover, critically wounded. He's the one with the med kit, so poop dicks. Things aren't looking good for you. What the fuck? Okay, so both my guys just got critically hit, despite being in full cover. We've lost the two of them. Because we can't possibly finish this mission before then. So it's just Hannibal and Scott Stevenson? That was fucking atrocious. Um, I almost want to just run them right back here, lose Canada, fail the mission. Because we've got these stealth squids coming, too. Like, okay. Here's what I know we can do. If we can peg the one, you haven't run and gunned yet, so I can move you here. Park you behind this thing and hopefully kill that thin man, right? Right? I don't know quite where it's standing. I think it's standing right here. Um, I could also put you on the roof. That might be the best place to put you. We also could throw a grenade. I'm really worried about the stealth squids. I think the best thing to do might be to run my people away. But I don't know that for sure. Okay. Um, think. Let's hide behind this. Can I go in here? I, I mean, I can. Do I want to? I'm gonna go in here to with Hannibal. Yeah, knock down that door. 
and we need you to kill this alien. 84% chance? That's pretty good. Please kill that alien. Take revenge on the guy who killed Poop Dicks. Okay, good. Um, can stealth squids go inside a building? I don't even know. I'm not sure how that works. Um, can't believe these guys are just going to die right here. I wish we could take their corpses to the landing area. Maybe I don't actually want to kill the other thin man yet. Like, run and gun with him. Maybe I want to hide in this building and overwatch. Like, behind a wall? Like, right here. I think I'm actually going to do that. And then... If that asshole alien comes in here, or if the stealth squids do, I'll be able to shoot him in the face. Please shoot that guy in the face. Oh, no. shit! Yeah, shit, Scott. That's bad. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's it. How are you going to get out of that... Oh my god, we're just gonna watch for two turns as all of our people are killed. Come in, Central. This is Big Sky. Emergency abort. Squad is down. Repeat, squad is down. I don't know what to say, people. Status black confirmed. There's no way to take it back. It's Iron Man. Oh god, okay. So who's left in our roster? Such a shame. Perhaps we can improve our equipment somehow, so yeah. this doesn't happen again. Your Xavier, you were not really the savior of anybody. Annabelle, I'm sorry. I should have run you guys out when I had the chance, but it's a good thing we got a new BAFTA award. We will be in touch, Commander. All right. Um, Canada is very upset with me. I think I need to launch a satellite there right now. Satellite launched. Okay. So... Yeah. What's going on in terms of our soldiers Commander, now? Commander, we've suffered a number of casualties. We only have Becky. We haven't Becky. found suitable replacements yet. We need to start hiring additional soldiers. Yeah, we do need to hire some soldiers, don't we? Um... Damn it. If only the training... The, uh... Soldier training thing. Let's hire two soldiers. All right, so we'll get here in a couple days. Um, Karapis armor not finished. All right, so we're going to need to rename some people after they rank up. I will uh, be back momentarily. You will see me then. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I just had to go cry in the bathroom for a while. Uh, actually, my wife had to make a phone call. Um, Becky Lee had to make a phone call, and so uh, she's currently sitting... In the barracks, sadly. Let's let's actually see what she's up to. Guess these guys over in the... Uh, how do I zoom in? Left? Actually, is that her right there? That's Becky right there, thinking about playing pool with one of these rookies. I bet she's thinking, like, hey, rookie. I bet she can't wait to, to go fight. Yeah, the last team? No, that's that's Becky, because she's, she's, that's her hair. She's on the treadmill, prepping, next to someone else. I don't know these rookies' names. All right. So, uh, there aren't too many of you left. Just a couple of you having drinks in the honor of, uh, Poop Dicks, Scott Stevenson, and, uh, your Xavier, whom you didn't know very well. But, uh, I would be drinking a lot, too. All right. So, what's the plan now? We've got a couple satellites working. Uh, we have to get back in this game. Uh, pretty soon... Ugh. We need to start taking the fight back to the aliens. 32 days. Panic in Canada? I just sent them a fucking satellite. Did that not work? It 
Doesn't say they're panicking. Is that a glitch? I don't... I don't know what that meant. Okay. Oh, good. A UFO. So this is a small scout. We should be able to shoot this down with relative ease. Um, let's do it. Looks like our uh, rookies... Becky's going to lead a team of rookies into uh, the hopefully Nigerian wilderness. After we launch missiles at this stupid flying saucer. Yeah, how about you hit? Hit! Oh, God. Hit! Hit! Thank God! Oh, man, if we... If that UFO had gotten away and then shot down our satellite, that would have been depressing. All right, you guys ready? <coughs> yep, here's my uh, crack team. Um, Squatty, Becky, Lee, uh, and three women, huh? Um... I'm inclined to pick guys just to... I, I know your genders don't really matter, but I'm inclined to pick guys anyway because they'll just be easier to name. Um, let's see. So, Henri. Yeah, we'll take you. Uh, Zachary. We got two French gentlemen. And, uh... Is this, yeah. All right. There we go. Not that I have any problem with women. You know, that's that's not what's going on. Let's, let's see uh, what's going on with our uh, facilities right now. Yeah, alien containment is still building. Uh, I do not think I'm going to bring a health pack. Frankly, I don't care if these rookies die. So I'm not going to try and keep them alive. The only person I want to actually come back from this mission is Becky. Um, again, that could be some form of nepotism. But, uh... Yeah. Let's take this show on the road. See what we can make happen with this team of rooks. There should only be five aliens because this is a small... Uh, saucer. I really wish that the, like the alien containment would be done at this point, because I would definitely try to capture some of these aliens. But! Central, this is Big Sky. Strike one is ready to secure the craft. Maybe we can pick up some meld? Alright. Everybody gets behind heavy cover. Because even when you're behind heavy cover, you die really quickly. So, uh, we, we just want to give you a shot, really. Aye, aye. Okay. Okay. So, what's our plan on this mission? Uh, to kill the hopefully only five aliens who are here and live. Roger that. Scanning. And do so slowly. Um, I guess I'd really love that meld, since this is a pretty easy mission, all things considered. Except for the fact that we only have four people and three of them are rooks. These rookies are like, I can't wait to go out on this mission. Wait, the team of experienced people just all died last time? Well, that's good. Sign me up! This is a disturbing sign, to say the least. It's hard to differentiate where the organic material ends and the machine begins. Okay, those are floaters. Any beauty contests, that's for sure. Good one, Dr. Shen. Dr. Shen, uh, that's really clever of you to talk about the way the aliens look. Okay, that meld is gonna go out in three turns. Can we actually do something about this? I would love to launch a grenade at those guys, and hit both of them, and then kill them with pistol shots. Can we make that happen? Maybe? What are your shots on these? 45, 25? That sucks. Your shots are also 51 and 25? Alright. What if I move you up? Affirmative. Affirmative! Alright. You're going to have probably a 51, no, 45, 45. What, what's your grenade look like? Can you hit both these guys? I think you can. Oh, God, it's one of those dexterity checks. I think I did it right. All right, Omri. Good. We hit both of them, knocked out the cover. This should be feasible. So you have the worst shot. 45 on both? Jesus. Okay. Take out the one that's farther away. Please just hit him. Thank you! Alright, we just killed that. These are floaters, by the way. They can, like, fly up in the air and get good aim. Um, they move really far. They can also, like, launch up behind you. Can you get this guy? Nice! This team of rookies is pulling through. Becky didn't even need to do shit there. Uh, we could... 
move her over to the meld, I guess. I'm, I'm taking a huge risk here, but I feel like we have to be risky at this point. If she spots aliens, we're totally fucked, though. Alright, good. So, there should only be three more aliens, and one of them's gonna be one of those outsiders in the UFO. So, let's let, uh... Rookie Simon move up here. Uh, Becky is back here. She doesn't have... She could move up here with run and gun and pick that thing up right now, but I don't think there's a reason to do that. Might as well... Let's see if she spots aliens here. Hopefully not. Good. So, she'll be able to pick up the meld next turn. That's, that's good news. Um, we also might want to... Here's the UFO over up here. Uh, we might want to approach it from two different directions a little bit so that Becky can run around behind some aliens and hopefully pound them in the face. So you guys all come up here. That's fine. Henri, you can be in the back a little bit because you don't have a grenade. Oh, you have the pistol armed. I should not have done that, but... It's okay for Becky to have the pistol on Overwatch. Let's just remember to move uh, whoever that was back to uh, Assault Rifle. Alright, good. There's more meld that way, or is that just this meld canister? I don't know. Um, Alright. Ah, uh, two more of those fucking squids. Fuck those! This unit with the intention of tracking and isolating single targets. Well, you didn't say that last time. Perhaps we should try to avoid those tentacles. Yeah, shut up, Dr. Vallen. Okay, we're gonna move everybody next to one another. So they can all help each other out. And then not get fucking douched by those tentacle beasts. Alright. Everybody goes on Overwatch, so when the stealth squids come... Yeah. You can shoot them in the face. Get your shotgun out. Alright, Becky. No squids? Oh, there's a squid! Come on, back. Shoot him! Back, he's right there! Oh my god! You... Becky, you didn't shoot! Oh, fuck. Becky's getting strangled. Okay. Get up here, Zach. 82% chance, I'll take it. Shoot him in the face! No, you're aiming the wrong way! Oh, thank you. Oh, he's still alive? Yeah, I'll say you do. 24% chance he's right there. Catching breath, so you're in a bad mood. Great. Oh, come on! He's right there! Okay, Ico Wemby. 51, that's it? Shoot him! Come on, hit this guy! Thank you! Okay, good. Alright, so hopefully that will allow Becky the chance to catch her breath. Great. So she's wounded now, and that means she's going to have to sit out for a little while. You go on Overwatch and get ready to shoot the next squid. You too, Beck. Get ready to shoot a squid. No squid? No squid! I don't care about that fucking meld. We're... I'm afraid to move this close to the Flying Saucer, too, because I don't want to trigger the Outsider until the squid is taken care of. So... You guys all hang here. And get ready to shoot the next squid when it unveils itself. And you reload. There it is. That's right. That's right. There we go. I'm proud of you guys. Damn it. Who was yelling about that? You did fine. Okay. Okay. So, who are you? You're Henri. You don't have a grenade, so you being in the front is kind of worse, but that's okay. You also need to reload. There we go. 
This could be the last alien. If I can end this guy quickly, then we can pick up the other meld, too. Okay, so he's there. I'm gonna have a shitty shot on him. Yeah, 15. That's pretty bad. Um, so you've got a grenade. Heck, Wenmei. Um, can't even see him from there. Great. You can hit him with a grenade. Uh, of course, we destroyed part of the UFO that we'd like to salvage, but I'm okay with that right now. Plus, it'll eliminate his cover. Let's just not fail this dexterity check. Okay, I think we did that fine. Nice. So let's just try to eliminate this guy this turn. How close can we move Becky? Pretty close. Uh, then we're taking a risk, because if he fires back, we're in trouble. Um, Unrefire the grenade, so you might as well... Still 15? He's just standing there. Does he still have cover? Oh, I guess we didn't actually blow up the cover. So we could just fire a grenade at him, I guess, to be sure. Yeah, we can't even get a good covering shot on him, really. That's kind of unfortunate. I'm actually interested to try and get the weapon fragments from him. Hmm. So, like, what, what are your odds here? 15 still? That sucks. Can we hit with a grenade if necessary? No. Okay. What I actually think I'm going to do is put everyone into cover... I'm actually going to put Becky all the way over here and then have everyone else hunker down. Yes, sir. And then I should be able to move her over. Oh, she can be seen there. She's got heavy cover. That should be okay. Okay, good. So the hunkering down worked. He missed. This is good for us. So, I can do... I can get right behind him and take a shot. Do we want Becky to do that, or do we want someone else? We actually want Becky to do it, because we want her to rank up soon, uh, if possible. So, run and gun, and hope that this is the last alien. Get right next to him, yes, and then shoot him in the face, Beck. Yeah, I'll say he's flanked. Oh, God. It was waiting there for something to happen. Good, we got both the meld canisters. So that was a su success, Rooks. Woo! All right. So what do we get out of this? Everybody levels up. That's great. So Becky was strangled for a little while, so she's out for eight days. That's fine. Uh, we want the defense up again. Um, I think. Zachary, you're a support. That's cool. And, uh... Henri, so the two Frenchmen are both supports. And then, uh, this gentleman is a heavy. What does this game have an obsession with making the black guys the heavies? I mean, am I racist for seeing that pattern? I I don't know. I, I guess I'm noting it, and I'm, I'm fearing it's, it's racist. Anyway, the point is, we got some meld, and that was good. And now we need to rename some guys. No, we don't want to scan for the next mission yet. Jesus. The hulk of flesh and metal troubles me. What do we risk with our own investigations into the melding of human and machine? Will we see a line in the sand and refuse to cross it? Or will we move forward, willing to sacrifice everything for the sake of total victory? Dr. Shen, that is not our future. I'm less troubled by the fact that there is something that combines flesh and machine than I am troubled by the fact the aliens are murdering people and so are we. So, well, I guess we're not really murdering people. All right, this guy, this is uh, Hannibal's uh, brother, uh, Hugh Jack, Hugh, Hugh Jacks. Uh, so let's customize him. Uh, first name, Hugh. Oh, fuck, caps lock. All right, uh, last name, Jack. Son, you're, uh, you were separated at birth and uh, of a different race, and you're from South Africa. So... That's fine. Uh, this is Hujax. So, uh, what color is Hujax armor going to be? This looks like your, uh... uh this kind of looks like your avatar. I think. 
I remember it being vaguely yellow and maybe purple. So, do we have you in the exact same outfit as our last heavy? I don't remember. That's accidental if it's the case. Uh, so thank you for being a heavy, Hugh Jackson. Uh, who are you? You are Bladed Edge. So, what's Bladed Edge going to be named? Uh, first name, e Edgar. Last name, Blade. Get it, Bladed Edge. Whatever. Um, so, that sort of makes sense. Um, edge, Bla whatever. Then your nickname will probably be Beholder. I know you already suggested that, Bladed Edge, but I was thinking it anyway. Um, maybe it'll be some variation of that. So then your uh, French comrade, uh, what will he be? He will be Edward Mace. So you're both named different Eds in a way. Um, but Mace seems like the perfect nickname for when you level up. So you will be Ed Ward. Yeah, that sort of makes sense. All right. Um, so Edward and Edgar Blade. Blade, uh, whatever. And then Hugh Jackson. All right. So, uh, medals, what do we have? We have a BAFTA award for some people. What does this do again? Never panic as the result of allies getting killed. That's probably important. Um, we probably don't want our heavy to panic, actually. So he can launch a rocket. So, who jacks? You just won a medal for that last battle, I guess. And Razzie for worst lead actor. Um, plus five defenseman in cover. We might want to save this for a sniper. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Um, so I'm okay not putting that on anybody right now. All right. Barracks. So we want to launch a satellite right now. Do we have any satellites? No. I think there are two being constructed, though. So we will go ahead and move through time a little bit. Commander, what is this shit? Your attention. Secure transmission coming in now. Oh, portent. Fuck this mission. This mission is like... The shittiest fucking scary ass mission in the world. Basically, it's just like millions of thin men. This is a this is a standard mission that came with one of the expansion packs. Should I even try it? Probably not. But we're going to. Um, our crack team of uh, two supports and a heavy are going to try and take out some thin men and then run back home to mommy. Um, so are we going to launch this? We look forward to seeing your progress. Uh, we need to dress you guys up. So you're Edward Mace. Um, you like music, so what would somebody who likes music look like? I don't know. Uh, I, I I have no idea what I even suspected there, but we're going to give you some better facial hair. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Holy shit. Okay. And then, uh, your brother, he doesn't like pink as much, or your French comrade, I guess there's no evidence that your brother's. Um, you're gonna be... Yeah, that's, that's a fine outfit. Uh, you know, we'll put you in green, we'll give you some weird facial hair, too. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Alright, guys. And then, Rookie Bangu. Uh, so we're gonna head on this mission, and you're gonna carry a med pack. And I fully expect you to have to run home to Mother. All right. We will see you guys for this mission as soon as we come back. See you next time.